to make it safe. We had to make the floor padded all around the edges so you can see that this is actually just soft stunt padding. Not to mention the fact that how do you make needles safe? We took these syringes and we took the needle tips out one at a time. We had a crew of people sitting there day after day pulling needles out. And our idea was to get people in, probably take two or three days with two people, to pluck the tips of the needles out and replace it with a fiber optic tip. So the first day we realized that we weren't going to get anywhere near enough needles that were plucked and re-tipped. Well, we did 20,000 needles and it barely, barely covered the bottom of the pit. Then we got another 40,000 needles. So now we have 40,000 needles. We have an entire team. That's their entire job. They come to work to pull the needles out, to put plastic one in. That's what they do all day. It took four people four days. Then we have, what, 60,000 needles. Not enough. So we ended up, I think, the final count's 120,000 needles. And that still is not that deep. We had to fill it full of gunk and styrofoam to make the needles actually rise up. <laughs> We decided to add a few buckets of slime to the needle pit to really make it gross. And what that did was actually make the needles slide a little bit more. The needles actually moved around for them nicely and they were able to swim in them a little bit more. And you could actually move through the syringes rather than walking on top of them. So it, uh, it really helped us out. In the end, they were quite gentle to the touch. <laughs> we ended up having to bulk it up more because we realized we didn't have enough. So we just ran out and bought another 300 boxes. And we bought the ones that don't have the twist ends. So that's, those are the ones with twist ends that we have to take the needle tip out of. These ones didn't, so they just kind of bulked it up. So if you see here, most of these syringes don't have tips in them, so we kind of cheated the look. Then we would take our other syringes that do have the fiber optic tips and just dress those over just on the day and it just created the more sinister looking needle tip syringe look that we were going for. So this is the end product of all the syringes and all our hard work. It's four days of people pulling them out, take the top off, pull the actual syringe piece out of it, then take a fiber optic cable that we had previously painted and cut to the right size and insert it into the hole and then glue it in place. These would bend. It's still a bit of a, uh, a prick, but it doesn't actually penetrate the skin. We had applied a coating of shellac and paint to the needles themselves so they looked used, and we even put a layer of blood on top of them so that they looked disgusting altogether. Do you want to rehearse with Allie while we stick needles in me? We had to figure out a way to stick syringes into Amanda, and we had to do that in a safe way. We took a real syringe, clipped the end off, and then it's the real metal syringe, but it's in more of a safe mode. Wardrobe came up with a great padding that would slide under her wardrobe that was uh, plastic with a high density foam over top of it. It went into the foam, hit the back plastic, and just stayed upright. We just had to be really careful that none of these syringes fell into this pit. So it was quite an ordeal to watch these and watch where they went, so to keep her safe, because she was in and out of it all day. Okay.